you eat a peach, you got to take a bite, you got to chew it, you got to swallow it. So I use the candy because there's less to do. There's less action and more just absorbing, literally absorbing the candy, but absorbing the process of what it means to to experience the candy. You know, it's, it's your sense of taste, but it's more than that. More, more than that happens to you if you want it to when you, when you experience eating a piece of candy. Maybe it's just a piece of candy. I've eaten thousands of pieces of candy and not thought anything of it. So you, you can do it the other way, too. You can just do things and not be mindful at all, and they just happen. People do this eating a bag of chips. They're going to have a few, and then chips are all gone. They don't even remember eating them or let alone enjoying them and so food is one way you can do this but this all gets back to where are you when your life is going by like when you're under the weight and it's it's bearing down on you i know where you are you're you're right there because you have to be when that dude's climbing that mountain he's got to be right there because if or he's going to fall off and die he's got to be there what about the rest of your life? Are those the only times we can be truly alive? Uh, I don't know how many times have you driven your car somewhere and you're thinking so hard about something else that you don't even remember to drive. You just pull up and there you are 30 minutes later. And you don't remember one thing about that drive because your mind was somewhere else instead of being in the now. I mentioned that's not necessarily a bad thing, especially if you're in a bad place. If, if, if you're in a part of your life that's that's hard and you're in pain or something like that, it's OK to remove yourself, I think. But what about your regular, ordinary life? Your your your. Uh, just a daily grind of life. And you know that Dan Millman guy, the way of the peaceful warrior guy that you mentioned, he wrote a book called. I think his second book was called No Ordinary Moments. And that comes from a time where the guy in the book who's teaching him tells him to go sit on a rock until he can come up with one meaningful thing to say. 